Hey, have you any idea how hard it is to get one of these stickers off of a bus? Yeah, one of these industrial stickers like this one, and it's been on there for a while. Look how faded it is. Uh, I got a feeling it might be a little tough. Let's give it a try together. This is uh, this is uh, part 53 of my videos, and uh, hey, I've got to 500 subscribers. Uh, one of my subscribers just said, hey, look at your subscriber count. So I did, and I've got 500 now. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Okay, let's get busy with this, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get down here and get my uh, handy-dandy heat gun. And I'm going to warm this up to where I can uh, put my hand on it, but, it, but it, and it'll feel really hot, like it's almost uncomfortable. You don't want to go any hotter than that. If you go hotter than that, then you're you're gonna possibly peel paint or anything else. If you've got a bad paint job anyway, it might this might end up pulling paint off. So just want to give you that little warning, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this a little bit. And here we go. Now keep testing the temperature with your hand. You can use a hair dryer, I think. I've never used one uh, on this before, but I think it'd probably get hot enough. Might take a little bit longer. This old thing I've had for a lot of years. Got it back in the late 80s, I think. I got another cheaper one I got it. Um, a Harbor Freight for about 12, 15 bucks, and it works pretty good too. I use it when I can't find this one, which is quite often. I have a habit of leaving my tools laying all over the place, which is not a good habit. Okay, so that's hot. That's uncomfortable to keep my hand on it. So, um, remember that Bondo spreader I had? I'm going to take this and see if I can get that corner loose. Okay, I got an edge up on it. Let's see if we can get it going. When you're pulling the, uh, when you're pulling this thing, try not to put the heat back on it, uh, on the sticker itself, because it'll it'll tear the sticker. If it's too hot, the, the sticker will get soft and just just come off. Ah, this one's going to be a bugger. It is certainly going to be one. It's got really strong adhesive on it. <sighs> they make a thing called a plastic razor blade. You can get them usually at paint stores and stuff like that. I know you can get them at auto, um, auto paint stores. And um, I think I'm gonna go see if I can find one because that isn't got a sharp enough edge and I don't want to use something metal on this because I don't want to have to do any repainting here. So, give me a second and I'll be back with you. Okay, I got this edge started here. Let's see if we can keep going with it. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be one tough sticker right here. It just doesn't want to relinquish its grab on this bus. Oh, man. I couldn't find a uh, plastic blade, so I've got a regular one here. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this unless you've done it before. This is uh, really easy to chip your paint, scrape a pole in your paint and knock a big chunk out of it with that. Well, you guys can see what I'm up against. Uh, Got to do a nice, slow, even pull. 
Be patient with it. It's just kind of come off like it comes off. Look at all that residue it's leaving behind. And now I've done it. You see the difference in the coloring here? Here. See the difference in the coloring here? When I rub my finger on it, I can feel a raised edge. This bus right here has been painted before and they taped up against this they taped up against this sticker. Oh wow. That's gonna create a problem for me. Man. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the rest of this thing off, and I'll get back with you guys. It's been about a half an hour. See how far I got? A little over halfway. <laughs> it's just coming off in little strips at a time. And i got to keep it really, really warm. Almost dangerously warm for it to come loose. But this whole back of this bus has been painted before. And uh, I've got to commend the guy that painted this thing. There is not a tape line one on it anywhere. The only place that I can find any evidence that this bus has been painted before is this little edge. They didn't want to take this, for whatever reason, they didn't want to take this off and replace it when they did the paintwork. So, um, yeah, so sometime in this bus's life, at least the back of the bus has been painted before. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to keep after this and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm getting there. That's all I've got left. So uh, this is what I've been doing. I've just been prying up the edge and just pulling it. It's been really slow going. Then when it breaks off, I take my razor blade to hold it real flat against there. Okay. Get me another edge started. Then I start pulling again. It's just coming off in increments. Just little teeny bits at a time. And when I had the shop, we had a thing called an eraser wheel. It looked like a um, looked like a rubber eraser, only it was on a um, it had a little center pin in it, and uh, you hooked it onto a tool, air tool, and it spun. And it would it would work like a era eraser on on paper, you know, you know, erase lead. But anyway, this would peel the uh, the glue and and the uh, sticker off of here, and. Uh, Worked really well, actually, but uh, I have no idea where that's at. I've got it around here someplace, but um, I just dropped my razor blade. Um, I'm going to get this cleaned up the rest of the way, and I'll bring it back, and we'll uh, get some gooby gone or goof off or something on there and get the stickies off of it. Then we're going to have to try to make a plan on what we're going to do with this area. Okay, guys, we got some goof off here. And uh, let's put that on this uh, on this area right here, and see what we come up with. Yeah, that's gonna work. Take a little bit of scrubbing.
Well, it kind of gets all over everything. See it out here now? Okay, well, that's going to work. I'm going to get this thing all cleaned up, and uh, then we're going to talk about some ideas on uh, what we're going to do with this thing. Okay? Hey, guys. Okay, so uh, I'll show you what I got here. See, there's a slight discoloration where the sticker was. There's a little teeny bit of uh, of sticker residue here, which I can't seem to get off because I ran out of goof off. And uh, this stuff worked really well. So I tried to finish it with um, Goo Gone. It's garbage. It will not even take that off of there. I think I'm going to try to get some turpentine after it. Maybe that'll work. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try turpentine to get to it. But any, anyway, back to this. Um, I think I only have two choices here. I can either wet sand this little edge off with, with wet sanding paper and uh, get some more of the same color I sprayed the bus with and, and blend this part of it in with, with paint and uh, it would be blank there. Or I could cover it with another sticker of the same size, you know, something, uh, um, something neat. You know, design of some sort or a name or or uh, something like that. And uh, I'm going to kick that around a little bit and figure out what I want to do. Uh, any input would be appreciated. And um, so we got the sticker off anyway. So uh, I don't know how long this video is. Uh, so I'm going to check that out. And uh, if we have time, maybe we'll pull another sticker off. Maybe one on the inside or something like that. Um, I also want to show you guys how to uh, polish paint a little bit. And so we'll be doing the hood and the front wrap of the car. And this this has got uh, a little bit of dead paint up on top, you know. So I want to go up there and uh, get that all cleaned up and stuff like that. And uh, maybe uh, do a little bit of polish work up there. And uh, it's kind of back-breaking, but if we use a power, a power polisher... Uh, and some 3M compound, it should work pretty good, you know, it should come right off of there. And then we can run a coat of wax over it, and uh, it'll be pretty on the outside again. Uh, the rest of the paint on the on the uh, vehicle is really good. It's got a little little chip right above where the light area I was working on. There's a little chip right there, and over here, right up here on the other side, there's a little teeny little scratch I need to touch up, but uh, other than that, there's not too much. Um, I have to go around the uh, metal door frames uh, on the back here and on the front, the, the uh, electric door on the front. And uh, I'm going to sand, take all the bolts out of those, sand them all off and replace all the bolts, probably the stainless steel ones, after I paint it. And uh, yeah, just paint those frames. Uh, that's the only thing that's on, on the bus that shows any type of uh, rust at all. It's spotlessly clean underneath, um, really clean under there. And uh, you saw it when I was putting the tank up under it, that you know, it was really nice under there. And uh, so this is probably going to be the end of this video for right now. Uh, you guys uh, give me some comments on, on what to do with this uh, spot right here. And uh, this square right here, it's about 5 inches by, I'd say about 15 inches or 16 inches, about 5 by 16 inches there. And, uh, you know, a nice little stick or something. Something uh, artistic would go in there and look really good, and it'd be a quick, easy fix. Or I could go through all the work of uh, sanding that down and, uh, and painting it white again. And uh, a little harder to blend in on, a, on the middle of a big panel. It's the only reason I'm hesitant, you know. But um, all right. Uh, thanks for coming along with my little uh, uh, adventure here. It was uh, kind of boring, actually. I hate doing this kind of stuff. It was tedious. My fingers are sore. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.